So I spend two to four days a week in the operating room. Four to six hours of operating room exposure to surgical plume roughly equals a pack and a half of cigarettes. If you do the math, if I spend two to four days a week in the operating room, that's like smoking half a carton of cigarettes per week. Apart from the long-term risks of exposure to surgical plume, surgical plume can cause direct symptoms. It can produce coughing, respiratory irritation, skin irritation, lightheadedness, and dizziness related to the chemicals that are being inhaled with the surgical plume. If you have a occupational exposure, surgical plume, that is causing a rate of respiratory illness that's 50% higher than the general population, you're going to be losing nursing productivity in your operating room. You're going to be losing their time, their skills, their efforts in the operating room, and that is going to directly cost the hospital money. It's also going to cost them money in a more subtle way. As the rate of respiratory illnesses increases, the insurance rates for providing coverage to those OR staff is going to increase with it. You're simply going to be a higher utilizer of medical services because you're exposing your staff to surgical plume. I think it's a big concern. It should be a concern for every healthcare worker in an operating room. All of us, I hope, enjoy what we do. All of us want to have long careers. Surgical plume is a direct threat to the longevity of a healthcare worker's career.